Hello everyone, welcome to another coffee chat. Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, I want to thank you all for taking the time out to just relax and to come and visit. I know that this is a very difficult time for all of us. We are going through a major challenge within in this world, in our country and in this world. But I am here to tell you that you are not alone. Okay, we're going through this together. Thank you for staying inside. Thank you for helping each other out, for looking out for your neighbors, your family, your friends, all of your loved ones. And we are going to get through this. These shows, these coffee chats and the podcast that I am releasing tonight, starting tonight, called Coffee Chat Stories, I wanted to, to give you shows that will help you to relax a little bit, to join a group of people who just want to hear a good story, want to hear something that is uplifting, fun, adventurous, something that can maybe give us a little more hope or to help us to remember that we always have hope out here. As long as we stick together and as long as we know that all of us, we are all human beings and we are going to get through this. Mark my words, we are going to get through this and I am praying for all of you. I am a woman of faith and even if you may or may not believe in prayer, I will pray for you because I love you all. So let me get started on sipping this coffee. My goodness. Let's see here. I wonder how it's going to taste. You know, this smells, this smells so good. This does smell really good. Okay, so here we go, Javalia House Blend. I like it. It does have that, it is a little bit strong. Not extremely strong though, but it's a little bit strong. It does have that bitter, that bite to it. Uh, I think it does have a little bit of that bitter taste, that bite to it, I would say. I, I call it a bite when it, when it does have that bitter mm, taste to it. It kind of it kind of wakes you up a bit. Uh, comparing it to coffee that I've had that I really like, like the Caribou coffee and Panera Bread coffee, I, I, I like caribou and panera bread a little better, but I think that Jabalia does have a good taste to it. It does have that 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 bite to it, that 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 bitter taste, but it is not too overwhelming, which I really like. That uh, coffee that I've tried that was a little too overwhelming for me included Folgers. Folgers was one, and Seattle's best. Now. Those two coffee brands, they they kind of they were kind of overwhelming. Ooh, chocolate chip cookies. Now, how many of you like chocolate chip cookies? I know you do. Yeah, these are childhood favorites. I am doing childhood favorites today with a little bit of a twist, and I will show you the twist in a minute. But these are the simply made Keebler cookies, chocolate chips, simply made. I had a coupon to get $1.25 off of the bag. They were running about, I think, $3.89 at Food Lion. So I got $1.25 off, which that was a good deal. They were having a deal, a sale at Food Lion where you can get two bags of the Keebler cookies or two boxes of the famous Amos cookies for $5. So that was a good deal, but I decided not to do not to do the two for five this time. I don't want to overdo it on the cookies now. But these are simply made by Keebler, and I tried these. These are very good. Uh, they say on the box on the back that these were made with simple ingredients like butter, flour, wheat flour. Okay, so keep that in mind. Wheat flour, uh, butter, and chocolate chips, and a few other in simple ingredients. So, you know, make sure you read the bag so that you know the, uh, what is in it. But, you know, just for, just for you all, I'm going to take a bite. I don't want to just sit here with snacks and, and, not, and not take a bite. So let's have a bite. Mm. I'm, mm. You know what? That's a chocolate chip with every bite. I love chocolate chip cookies. Let me just tell you, 
For my birthday, every year since I was a kid, I hope you don't have anything on my lipstick here. <laughs> For my birthday, every year since I was a kid, I loved getting a chocolate chip cookie cake. Mm. I did not want any other cake really, but a chocolate chip cookie cake for many years of my childhood. And even through my adulthood years, I would make myself a chocolate chip cookie cake. And all I did was to go to the store, get like the, the get the little uh, frozen cookie dough and slap that whole thing in a pan and just let it spread out. And that was the cake. And then if I really wanted to get fancy, I would get a pack of crushed walnuts or, or crushed pecans and sprinkle, sprinkle it on top. Sprinkle all that good stuff on top. And that was my cake. I absolutely loved it. I loved cookie cakes. And uh, that was my favorite cake. So that's what I did for my birthday. Uh, actually, my birthday dinner was normally a pizza, a sausage pizza, and a chocolate chip cookie cake and soda. Uh, now, these days, I, I you know, kind of uh, upgraded a little bit. I eat fried fish for my birthday. Yeah, fried fish is good. Hush puppies, french fries. What is your favorite birthday dinner? What do you like to have for your birthday dinner? Do you like your hamburgers or something a little bit healthier? Maybe baked fish or, you know, something fancy? What do you like to eat for your birthday? And what is your favorite birthday cake? Yeah, I think my camera's a little bit crooked. I'm, like, I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> Yeah, now for that childhood snack with a twist that I just talked about earlier. Look at this, jalapeno popcorn. Now, this here, I tried it before, and what it does, okay, it's, it's very good. It has that slight sweet taste to it. It is kettle cooked popcorn from Pop Time, and it is spicy jalapeno. So I'll just put this up to the camera. Kettle cooked, pop time, spicy jalapeno. So I love popcorn. I know many of you do. Great for a movie night at home. Now see. Okay. We just have to do it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so with this, when you eat this popcorn, you will feel it in your actually in your nostrils, in your nose. And if you are not careful, then this will make you sneeze. Oh, oh, oh here we go. See, it goes right up here. It's a sensation. You'll feel a little heat in your mouth. Let me take that back. You'll feel a little heat in your mouth. The last time I did it, it reminds me a little bit. It reminds me of popcorn that's kind of like a candy type popcorn. But, uh, Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh. This is dairy-free on the bag it says, this is dairy-free, nut-free, preservatives-free, no artificial ingredients, zero grams trans fat per serving. Okay, so this is two cups. All right, two cups in one serving, 65 calories per cup. Okay, so if you want something a little spicy, and um, I'll let you take a look at this popcorn here. I'll take, let you take a look at what, it, what it's like on the inside. Okay, so take a look at inside here. I'm gonna block the light a little bit. Yeah, this will clean you out. It tastes like candy sugar like a candied spicy sugar on this popcorn. That's what the popcorn tastes like. Like, it, like there was a candied spicy sugar all over this popcorn. And, and you, you'll feel the heat in your mouth a little bit, but it goes straight up your nose. Like when you first eat it, it just is sort of just like, like whew, just go straight up your nose. Um, and today, today, we're going to do some storytelling here as well. And I received, oh, 
Look at this. The April issue of Harper's Bazaar, some more fashion. And we have, we have Gigi on the front. Oh, that is so cool. She is gorgeous. We're going to take a look at some of this here. Look at this. Huh? April issue. There's a, there are a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff in here. So what snack, what comfort snack do you all like to have? What, what is your favorite comfort snack? Like when you just want to sit back, curl up on the couch, watch a good movie, you know, you're in your, your fuzzy socks, you're in your, your comfortable lounge set or your PJs. What kind of snack do you just love to eat that you just love to indulge in while you look at a good movie? With me, I like, I like barbecue potato chips and uh, the avocado oil potato chips that I, that I ate or showed you in the last coffee chat, that was really good. That was really good. So um, that's, that's one kind, that's one brand that I really like. But I do love, I do like, I enjoy barbecue potato chips, the cookie dough, baking cookies, things like that, because when you bake the cookies, how that aroma just fills up your kitchen. I mean, those are like childhood memories right there. That, that, will, that would just make anybody just put down what they are doing and rush to get themselves a, rush to get themselves a, a, a handful of cookies. You know, the aroma of freshly baked hot chocolate chip cookies, that's very comforting. That's a very comforting smell. Another comforting smell, I think, is um, hot chicken noodle soup. You know, it just reminds you of a very cold day or maybe like a snow day when you didn't have to go to school that day and you could just curl up and just have some hot chicken noodle soup. Wow, wow, I see something here. I do love this color. This is from Carolina Herrera. Look at this. Oh, these are beautiful. You know, my fingernail polish almost matches the dress. Yes, I painted my fingernails. Ooh. <laughs> and look at the handbag. Yes, Carolina Herrera, this is nice. And see the, the fabric, it looks, it, to me, the fabric, it looks so comfortable. It looks like it really feels good, good against the skin, just the way it drapes. It doesn't look too heavy. It looks very light. It looks like it, it will just flow with you. And I love, I love outfits and dresses, fabric that will allow your, that will allow your skin to breathe. I love that. How the fabric just drapes around her, around her arm, the sleeve. And uh, this fabric, it looks like it, it allows the, the skin to breathe. A uh, uh, rich tangerine color. We have Jennifer Lopez, we have Jayla. Look at her, she's doing her thing here. Yeah. She is doing her thing. That dress fits her like a glove. It fits her perfectly. She looks, she looks awesome. Perfection. And that belt, look at this belt. I like belts like this. And the, and the backdrop with the architecture, the color, it's a little bit, it, it's a little bit, it looks a little bit like a beige mixed with a little rose, a little bit of a rose blush there. When I was in college, I studied art history. That was my, well, that my art was my major, but art history was like my concentration. And uh, I studied a lot of, architecture. I loved, I loved old architecture. I loved looking at and studying the cathedrals of Europe. And um, I went to the Washington National Cathedral when I was uh, in my 20s because I had a job interview there. And it was amazing. It was so awesome walking inside that cathedral and it just opens up to this beautiful, beautiful sanctuary, this, this beautiful room and it, you just feel like an ant, you know, going, going inside this humongous place and the gorgeous stained glass windows. I, I've always wanted to go to the cathedrals in Europe. I've always wanted to go there and hopefully one of these days I will. But um, 
But yes, the architecture is, is absolutely perfect, the perfect backdrop for this dress. And the shoes, yes, the shoes. So this is from Omachiano, guess. You know, we are heading into the summer season. Well, it is, all, it is already spring, but we are heading into the summer season this year and I am in need of a pair of sunglasses. I would like to, but I also want to get a handbag. Now, a sunglasses or a handbag, my plan is to just save a little money out, you know, pay my obligations and everything, but just put a little money away to buy one nice accessory or maybe one nice clothing item. Now, something really nice, you know, something that, that I will wear for a long time, something that, that is very stylish, you know, something that, that says, Mary Christie, style queen. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be a little bit dramatic here. But I don't know, what should I do? Sunglasses or a handbag? And um, of course, I will likely order it online um, if, you know, if we need to continue to stay in through the summer months and it looks like that's where we're headed, then we will, we will I would say, go ahead and, and just do a little window shopping online. You know, you've got to take care of your family. You've got to, you've got to take care of your needs, just what the best you can do. But, um, but do something online. But you know, sunglasses, I really love sunglasses. I really love, I really enjoy sunglasses. And Tiffany and Company, oh, this is nice. Tiffany and Company. This is a, I think these are rings and a bracelet. Wow, this is, this is extravagant. Look at this. You see, these are, I think she is wearing the bracelet. I think she has on rings that are similar. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. <laughs> you know, I really enjoy looking at these magazines because, you know, these accessories and the clothing that you see in these, in these fashion magazines, they become a work of art within itself, within themselves. When I was studying art history, um, I was so in awe of just how creative human beings are and were and are now today. This is different. Look at that. Look at the heel. Gold. You know, like I said, fashion itself, it, it can become a work of art. Just a real nice masterpiece that that more people that, that more people can use to express themselves. This is really, really nice. Now here, here is a handbag. My gosh. We see some chocolate jewelry, chocolate diamonds from Le Vion. Le Vion. Le Vion. This is the 20th Chocolate Diamonds Jubilee. Yeah, chocolate, chocolate chip cookie, chocolate diamonds. <laughs> so how's everyone doing today? I know that we are going through a lot. We are going through a lot, but we are going to get through this. Oh, look at this. The dress that she's wearing, we only see the top of it. It has that drapery that reminds me of ancient Greece. And we have her pup, her, her furry friend, perched up there on her shoulder, offsetting the necklace like she, like he's saying, look at this. <laughs> her furry friend is helping her to present the necklace like he is saying, look at this, look at this. Yeah. What, what is your favorite snack? Please comment below. What is your favorite comfortable, comfy snack? Of course, I like popcorn, as you can see here. 
I started eating this kettle corn and it's really hard to stop. I have seen videos from other YouTubers about things that you can do or a list of things that you can do or ideas that you can do inside your home while you are in quarantine or, or self-quarantine. I haven't looked at those really. I haven't really looked at those. I think I might have um, looked a little bit at one of them. But there really are a lot of things that you can do while we are staying at home, while we are in self-quarantine. Um, if you like to, to uh, do YouTube videos, if you are a YouTuber, you can catch up on your videos. You can maybe boost up the uploading. Uh, create more videos, uh, share your experience as you are in quarantine, maybe give some help, helpful helpful tips about things that we can do to, to you know, to kind of boost our spirits a little bit, to, to help our families, to relax, ease our mind a little bit, different things. And it does feel good to know that, you know, you are not alone, we are not alone, and there are people going through the same thing. And, sharing some of those experiences. I teach online in the morning and I started doing that actually last year. So uh, that is that has been a great experience for me. But the things that I am doing, that I started doing uh, when when the quarantine happened here in North Carolina was to do, a, I just do a lot of reading now. A lot of reading, I am doing more training with Adobe Premiere. Uh, because with the new episode of American Exile, this is episodes three, four, and five that we're doing to finish out season two of American Exile. I am doing more training, more training with Adobe Premiere to boost up the production, the post, the post production and editing of the upcoming episodes. Uh, so that has been a great experience for me to just sharpen my skills, sharpen my skills with uh, with script writing, with writing books. I, am, I actually have three books on the way that I started a couple of years ago, and I am adding more material to those books, the podcast, the story podcast, and I am doing a book reading from my book, Damascus Code. Uh, Damascus Code is a story that is related to American Exile, the film. They have the same, the continuing storyline of, uh, of that story. So I've been doing a lot of work, fun work, a lot of fun, creative work, but work to, to sharpen my skills, to put out more good stuff for you all to enjoy, uh, to enjoy for free too. And listening to a lot of good music, a lot of good, comfortable, beautiful music. And I'll share my playlist with you probably in the next coffee chat. You know, you can share your playlist with me if you like, you know, comment below. What are your best comfy snacks, comfort snacks? Um, what type of music do you like to listen to when you relax and chill out? What do you like to do to just uplift yourself, to, to be uplifted, to, you know, to, to stay positive? What do you like to do? Since I do live in a kind of a rural neighborhood, kind of suburban, kind of rural, uh, I have a front yard, a pretty decent sized front yard. So I can go outside and walk around in my front yard and I have a little bit of uh, solitude, uh, a lot of quiet, and it really feels good, you know, just getting outside in the front yard and, and enjoying the sun. I mean, it is 82 degrees. I'm going outside later on today. But if you are able, if you do have a yard, a place where you can walk around and not be near people or near a lot of people, then, then you know, that's a good thing. That's a healthy thing to get some fresh air as long as you are doing what the medical experts are, are saying and, and keeping your distance, you know, keeping that, that six foot distance as what we are being told, doing your, we, let's not really call it social distancing, but physical distancing, because we want to keep the lines of communication open with our family and friends. You know, don't become so isolated that you don't text, you don't call, or FaceTime family and friends, keep the lines of communication open. You can reach out on social media to your social media friends. We're all, we are all going through these things. Uh, so, so social distancing, maybe we should just call it physical distancing because we, we need to keep those lines of communication open. If you have a pet at home, you know, look after your pet. 
um, that is a positive, a positive experience. Look after your pet. I, I've never had a pet except for a hermit crab. Didn't quite work out. I remember going to the Natural Science Center, which is a combination of a of a of a zoo and a, a petting zoo, and also a place where you can learn a lot of great cool stuff about science. And um, they had these life-sized dinosaur uh, statues or whatever, <laughs> life-sized dinosaur figures. And I've always loved to go there. I wanted to learn more about the different animals, the different species, and about scientific uh, subject matter. So I love the Natural Science Center. And one of the one of my favorite parts of going there was to go to the store. Uh, it started in preschool and then we kept going. My class would go in elementary school. So I've been there a lot uh, during my, my uh, childhood years. One day I took the, the few little dollars that I had and I bought a hermit crab. It was $3. I bought one because I wanted a pet. And, um, and so I took it home and I surprised my parents. And well, we put the hermit crab in this mason jar with sand in it. And the hermit crab had like this shell on top. So at night, I would hear something go, scratch, 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 scratch. And it would scare me. I was afraid that hermit crab was going to like jump out of that jar and, and pinch me or something. Or be like right up there with me, like looking at me with those eyes. And I, that, that was a nightmare for me. Well... Um, I got up one morning and the hermit crab, the shell popped off the hermit crab and ooh, it, mm -mm. that was a little scary to me seeing the hermit crab without, without the shell on top. It's like, ooh, ooh. So, um, so we did not, we, we did not throw away the hermit crab. What we did, um, we went ahead and we set it free. We had this, um, this really nice, um, backyard and I set it free because I couldn't take care of it any longer. I was I was scared. But yeah, I you know hope that the hermit crab, you know, went on and enjoyed the grass and all of that and hopefully you no know, none of the animals bothered the hermit crab. But that was the only pet that I ever had. Now you would think that with the little cat means or the cat uh, with the little cat uh, clips that we would have that we had in coffee chat that I had a cat. Well, no, I don't, but cats are so cute, and I, I love cats, they're so cute. And I love puppies, too. But I've never had a puppy, I've never had a dog or a cat, you know. Yeah. I, um, uh, that, you know, that is a lot of responsibility, you know, a lot of responsibility. So for those who have been taking care of dogs and cats and they're healthy and they're happy, Kudos to you, that is a lot of responsibility and a lot of love, a lot of love. So kudos to you all. Um, so, you know, why don't you tell me about your cat and dog? Maybe we'll do a coffee chat about that. Tell me about your cat or dog, your, your furry friend, your furry friends, your furry, uh, you know, your furry family members. <laughs> tell me about them, about what are some of the cute things that they do? What do you like most about, about, your, uh, about your cat or your dog? about your furry friends. Tell me about that, about what do you, what, what, what do you like most about them? Um, that would be really cool. And it's something really positive, you know, to, to kind of uplift people, you know, as we are going through this time period, you know, we're going to get through it. I keep saying that, but I'm going to say it again. We're going to get, and we are going to see you next time. Coffee chat is about to wrap up. I'm kind of sad, but I got to get dinner started. I post coffee chat on either Thursday or Friday, uh, just depending on how much editing that I have to do. Um, on a few occasions, I may post on a Saturday, but we will try to get it in Thursday and Friday. I want you to take care of yourself. Um, stay at home as much as you can. Uh, if you are able to, and you do have a nice front yard, and, and you don't get to, you know, you can do your social or your physical distancing, then, you know, get a little fresh air, you know, enjoy the sun, okay? I want you to take care of yourself, and, and I love you all. And I'm going to sip this coffee, and, uh, oh, oh, you know what, before I forget, I am going to, I am going to post the coffee chat stories later on this evening. 
I will put the link underneath this video as soon as the podcast is up. We are reading from the adventure thriller, my book, Damascus Code. You are going to love this. We are going to take you on an adventure around the world on this one. A scientific mystery that joins science with the supernatural. A missing scientist who is guarding a, an artifact that joins the supernatural with the scientific. You are going to love this. And, and I want you to enjoy it. We are going to read chapters from that book for the coming weeks. I don't know if I'm going to read half of the book or maybe uh, a quarter of it. I'm not sure. But you can get the, the whole book on online at Amazon. Okay? All right. But you can listen to the podcast for free. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so you know as soon as we get another show up and um, you can be part of our, our community. Thank you so much for, for joining us. So please subscribe and click the notification bell. Click like. We are going to put out more shows like this to relax. Bye-bye, everyone, and see you all next time next week on Coffee Chat.